Um, Tom, and lately I've been seeing that uh, Nassim Taleb, one of my favorite contemporary thinkers, has been writing a lot about masks and COVID and talking about how masks might actually be not only necessary but sufficient to stop the spread of the virus. And one of the strategies he's been using is actually to take two surgical masks and double up on those, um, especially for travel, like being on an airplane, if you don't have access to an N95 mask or you want to uh, conserve that for kind of more high exposure situations, would it work to actually take two surgical masks, combine them together and have better filtration with that? And actually with any sort of mask wearing, there's a good way to test that. It's called a fit test. Um, and normally this can be done um, sort of in a healthcare setting and usually you use basically a pleasant chemical um, that you spray onto yourself while wearing a mask or someone sprays onto you while wearing a mask. And if you can detect the chemical through the mask, then you know that the fit test has failed and the uh, contaminants like COVID or other viruses are potentially getting in. Um, and again, usually they use a, a pleasant smelling chemical. So something like banana oil, um, they'll spray it onto somebody wearing a mask. And if they can smell that banana smell, then they know uh, that the mask is not effective. If they can't smell it, then they know it is effective. So um, right now all of that is sold out and I wanted to do kind of a skin in the game aspect of testing out any sort of mask strategy before I recommend it or really wholeheartedly agree with it. Um, so I got myself stannic chloride. This is another chemical. It's actually an originally a chemical warfare agent. Um, this is a much more dilute version of it. I'm also in an outdoor setting. And uh, this is a, a tube where you can actually waft some of this into the air and it's an irritant smoke. So if I blow it into the air and I'm wearing sunglasses to cover my face, <coughs> and then breathe any of it in, it's very irritating, causes me to cough immediately. Um, and that's good because it's really involuntary, it's impossible to avoid that. So if I blast this onto my face while I'm wearing a particular kind of mask, then I can test how effective that mask is. And again, it's testing the fit there. That's why it's called a fit test. So I'm gonna try out Nassim's strategy here. I'm gonna put on two layers of these surgical masks. As you saw, it was involuntary for me to cough uh, blindness on my face before. Uh, I'm gonna do it again. <clears throat> I'm still getting a fair amount wafting through there. Um, I think I'm going to try to remove these and put one mask on fully. Perform it to my nose. Make sure this is a tight fit. Let's try it again. Okay, that's seeming to work a lot better. Feeling a little bit of it still. Um, this is actually designed to test N100 masks. But you can see I could breathe through there um, without actually having that involuntary need to cough with this stannic chloride. So I think um, his strategy actually would work. The most important thing, though, is I'm getting this mask to fit really well, making sure it's conforming all around my face, putting the second mask on for an extra layer of protection. Um, again, this is not designed for surgical masks. It's actually designed for N100 regulators. So even with an N95, you can still detect it a bit. But I'm actually finding this strategy seems to work reasonably well. You can see wearing two masks and making sure the bottom one fits perfectly. Um, the second one is an extra layer of protection. I'm not getting that involuntary coughing, which is what you experience with stannic chloride when you're totally unprotected or there's stannic chloride getting through. Again, not as good as an N95. I don't think I'd use this in a healthcare setting, but I think it's a good strategy for airline travel, for any other place where you're gonna be in an inside and enclosed setting. Um, I like it. I think I'll try to start to use it. If you found this helpful anyway, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks Nassim for continuing to explore these kinds of topics.